when I started painting movie scenes, I knew, I knew I was going to paint this last scene in 16 Candles. It's a movie I really love. It's a movie I grew up watching. I know it's problematic. <laughs> I was really intimidated by it though, because it's very, it's a dark scene, but it's lit by candlelight from the birthday cake. And I was like, I can't do that. I'm, it's too soon. <laughs> I don't know how to watercolor paint that well. But I decided, okay, I'll just gonna look up how to paint like fire or a glow or candlelight, something like that. Came across Matthew White here on YouTube. So I decided to kind of, and if you, I'll, I'll link the actual video that I've watched. And if you watch it and you, then you watch mine, you go, how? How is this similar? <laughs> but it is. It, it really, <laughs> it worked. The method that he showed, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go with that. And I just went for it. <laughs> so it's all about the wet on wet technique in the beginning. And if you've seen this first stage of the painting, you can't tell what I'm painting. At least I don't, I don't think you could. It was very, and I think it actually helped me because I was able to make it very broad in the beginning it and like my drawing brain liked this liked this method because um one of the things i haven't been able to quite grasp about painting watercolor is how to go from a big idea to a small to small details and do it well and so this was the first time I was like, oh, that's how you get the big details or the big broad picture down first. Like, it was the first time I knew that. needed to go. I did have a pencil drawing down on this so I could I was able to still see where the details were of the of like their faces and their arms and so I kind of went back to like my old thing I didn't know where to go from here I was like okay I think I got a good glow color going <laughs> so I just decided to get the smaller brush out and um, not fine details yet, but just to get the clothing going. I think my only frustration um, was I feel like I had to keep getting darker. I just, and I can never get it dark enough. And that's, that's the thing with watercolor. Everything dries lighter than when you put it down. And the paint on your palette is darker than when you put it on the canvas. It's, it's all, <laughs> it's a little frustrating for someone who uses pastel that knows that like, this color is going to look like this on this paper. So it's about learning how to kind of work with it and compensate. <laughs> This was a lot of fun. I liked using this too. I feel like it does have a nice glow to it. I think the lighting on their faces I thought turned out really nice. And on the lighting fixture that's in the window reflection that was a total afterthought and that was a bad on my, my part. I did not even think about it until towards the end of the painting. I was like, oh, I should have thought about that glow too, but I didn't. This was a lot of fun to do. And I really enjoyed learning the
this method. I've used it a couple more times since then. So the wet on wet technique. So I will be doing more of that. Uh, be sure to give me a subscribe. I'm still at the beginning of my watercolor journey and so I'm only going to get better. So let's follow along, will ya? <laughs> Talk to you later.